Simon Mannering is the award-winning founder of We First, the social branding firm. A New York Times best-selling author and an influential blogger for Forbes, Mashable, Good Magazine, Fast Company, and Huffington Post. He has worked for many of the world's top advertising and digital agencies in Asia, Europe, and throughout the United States on dozens of Fortune 500 brands, such as Nike, Toyota, and Motorola. He is considered one of the world's foremost authorities on branding and emerging social technology offering critical insights into how companies marry purpose and profit to build their bottom lines and positive social impact. So I'm going to share with you three strategies that I believe are absolutely critical if you want to succeed long term in a fast changing media landscape. And the first is community building because I believe brands must now become community architects. If you're at Intel, you're not in the software business. If you're at Nike, you're not in the shoe business. If you're at Home Depot, you're not in the, the warehousing or home supply business. We are all now in the data business. We are collecting data in all its forms through which we can market our services and products, in which case we need to build communities that can drive that success. So let's take an example of some of those brands out there you might know. Coca-Cola, the real thing, two years ago said, they're going to change their global strategy to open happiness. So what they did was they crowdsourced, they got together teams of ambassadors, and they, they crowdsourced it and said, can you choose the team that will go to 206 countries over 365 days to document across all social channels what happiness means to them? So a very smart strategy, if you think about it, it shows a deep interest in people all around the world and it inspires them to create content on the back of which they can market their product. Brands must celebrate their customers. What does that mean? Traditional media, whether you're talking about television, print, radio, for so long throughout my career, it was always about positioning us as a celebrity, the celebrity of your community. Even with your website, you know, your digital website, that was the destination, the hub you drove traffic to. Well, those days are over. If you want to succeed as a brand, you must shift from being the celebrity of your community to its chief celebrant. That means you reach out to the community and lift them up, and in turn, they will become your brand ambassadors that will drive your bottom line. Now, this is the dynamic that is informing the efforts of so many big brands today, whether it's Walmart's Sustainability Index, the Pepsi Refresh Project, P&G's Click for Water Blogovation Campaign, Starbucks Shared Planet, it goes on and on. Because this strategy is not just well intended, it's well received. It allows those brands to build communities that ultimately drive profit. And just one powerful example is what P&G is doing with UNICEF, where every time you buy a packet of Pampers, you fund a tetanus vaccination for a mother or a newborn in the developing world, and so far they've funded over 31 million vaccinations. The second piece is something I call contributory consumption which builds on the fantastic work that was done by 1% for the planet in terms of the environment and product red with HIV and AIDS. And the concept is simple. A small proportion of the sale of every product or service goes towards a cause that's in alignment with the core values of that brand. Now, let's be realistic. Not everyone's going to get involved. You know, most brands will say, we're still too self-interested. We're going to take over, you know, we're going to honor our responsibility to our shareholders. So let's say only 5% of brands participate. And let's be even more conservative. Let's say that those 5% only give one cent on the dollar. As a function of the scale of the private sector, that one cent on the dollar from 5% of the private sector would absolutely dwarf the $14 billion raised annually by corporate foundations in a sustainable and systemic way. So this vision for a third pillar of social change can end that false separation between living and giving, between purpose and profit, between consumption and contribution. And it can leverage the enormous resources of the private sector to massively scale social change. This is not just a creative opportunity. This is an absolute necessity. If we are to survive as a global community of people, 
if we are to thrive as a private sector, and if we're to build a better world for all. Simon's deep understanding of brand storytelling and customer engagement, his breadth of knowledge about social technology and its future, and his unique vision for a repurposed private sector has won him the highest accolades from around the globe. Speaking to brands from Coca-Cola to Google to General Motors to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He offers a truly unique combination of business acumen, marketing creativity, and visionary thinking that captures the attention and imagination of a room while delivering real value to the business bottom line. <laughs>